Well, alternative medicine has never been more popular. According to the Mayo Clinic, nearly half of adults in the U.S. have tried some type of integrative therapy. It's even becoming more mainstream at children's hospitals, where many families are finding comfort in unconventional places. Decorating Easter eggs. On a beautiful spring weekend, the Damon House is bursting with silly, carefree memories. Silly, can you bring that to the middle? The kind you'd want to capture forever. But if you zoom in a little, you'll see this is far from a picture-perfect day. <laughs> Today, the Damons are creating distractions from the life-changing news they're about to receive. Well, already just sitting here right now, my yeah. stomach like starts to turn, thinking, oh, yeah. Can I leave this one? Jill and Kurt Damon are about to learn whether their son, eight-year-old Griffin, has stayed cancer-free post-chemo. The anxiety is almost worse now. You don't have that safety net of being in the hospital room. A little over a year ago and out of the blue, Griffin was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma, a life-threatening, painful bone cancer. When you ask if he was present, he was definitely present. He would. I remember conversations where he's just straight up said, what if I die? Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> you can't say to your child, you're not gonna, because... Because he knows. He's... Most of 2015 was spent here at the U of M Masonic Children's Hospital at the mercy of medication. I mean, we had to do injections every day into his belly. He had to take this medicine on Monday and Tuesdays, which tasted, which he hardly could keep down. Not to mention the chemo administered through a gaping hole in Griffin's chest. We would literally have to hold the child down. Kurt on one side, I on the other, my dad on his feet. And, and he is going nuts. He's terrified. They are moments you wouldn't think you'd want to remember. There are moments you wouldn't dream of capturing in a photograph, which is why what happened next is so amazing. And he said, here's what we're picking four families. He said, so just take the camera and start taking pictures whenever you can. Just weeks into treatment at Children's, the Damons met photographer Jim Bovin. Everyone here at the Children's Hospital has a story to tell. Over the years, Jim has captured some of the most personal moments to ever develop between these walls. So when the hospital's integrative medicine team asked him to enlist and teach a handful of families to use photography as part of their therapy, Jim was all in. To me, it's everything. It's that whole entire journey that they're going through. Good or bad, document it. Pick up the camera. The infant is two seconds. Snap that photo, drop back, put the photo or the camera down, and go on. Skeptics okay, at first, the Damons and five other families ultimately agreed to put down their guard and pick up a camera. It was a good reason to take a picture. Yeah. Um, like, well, we, we agreed to do this. We agreed to, we told them we would do it, so dug on it, we better do it. For nine months, the families pushed through their emotions and captured nearly 7,000 images. The project was named Perspectives, each family using images to heal in a different way. Some, like the Damons, taking photos to ease them through the pain. Others trying desperately to hold on to every moment. We had one child that did pass away last December, and that was, it was gut-wrenching, it was heartbreaking. As each of these photos was taken, Anton Delgado's family knew any one of them could be his last. They welcomed the opportunity to celebrate their spirited five-year-old fighter. You know, toward the end of, of Anton's life, I, I walked into the room and I, I had my camera gear and I wasn't ready to take those photos for them. And, uh, but Vanessa, <laughs> mom, she's like, go ahead, take as many photos as you want. We <laughs> walked a 
away from the room and I let it go. I'm just like, I can't believe this. This just happened. And um, about five or six days later, Anton passed away. It's a part of us and part of those people forever. For the Damons, enough time has passed that they can reflect on their journey. They now see what they captured during their year in the hospital was profound. And Jill took a black and white of him. And it was one day he was just sitting in bed and he just was sick. And he was like this. Documenting painfully raw moments. So there they were saying goodbye and she was being so gentle with him and his hand was so weak holding onto hers. I wouldn't have done that. I, I promise you, I wouldn't have taken that picture. If you really take a close look at that photo, Griffin has a teardrop just sitting perfectly on his eye. I look at that photo and it's just pure love between a brother and a sister. But among the teardrops, bright spots too. There's one, it's a really bright picture and he's got, he's licking a bright red popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> and so how different can those be, right? But there he is being goofy, licking his bright red popsicle. And, and then the Oreo one, I know he loved that Oreo one just being. Of course he was in his Spidey jammies. Yeah. And of course you have to brush your teeth. Because, hey, guess what, kiddo? We're not going to be here forever. You're going to have to go see that dentist. Exactly. You can have those moments. Cancer doesn't have to steal everything, you know? I mean, it tries really, it really does, darn but... hard. But it doesn't have to steal everything, and it certainly doesn't have to steal joy. A few days later, the Damons are back in familiar territory. This time, nervously awaiting the results of Griffin's first scan post-chemo. Several hours later, Griffin's doctor delivers the news in three simple words. Skins look good. Praise the Lord. An 18-month journey, still <laughs> developing but heading down the right path. I mean, and we didn't know what the outcome was going to be. And honestly, Amy, we still don't know what the outcome is going to be. But really, does anybody know what their outcome is going to be? Because even when life isn't picture perfect, we can always choose where to focus. So just because you have cancer as part of your story doesn't mean that you are, uh, you know, excluded from any hope or joy. You can still have that. Yes. Incredible. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. We're we're a little bit of a mess right now. <laughs> That's a little bit hard incredible, to watch, but incredible family. Hopefully they'll be able to share those pictures for other yeah. people to see at the yeah. hospital. The hospital is still trying to find a home for those pictures. But if you want to follow Griffin's journey, we put a bunch of websites on our on our website, fox9.com. Yeah.